For the last year, I've been uh, been hearing about the persecution of the pastors and the missionaries and just the Christians in general in uh, in India and in the Orissa area, and my heart's been stirred toward it. But just recently, I saw a video of some of the persecution, and I just wasn't ready for it. I thought I understood what was going on over there, and then I saw the video, and I wanted to throw up when I was done watching it. It, it caused me to question everything in my life. I mean, literally everything. Everything about me, everything about church. I mean, when I saw these men of God literally being beaten, I, I've never seen someone being beaten to death. I, I've never seen people getting mobbed and literally, I've, I don't, I'm not sure that I've even seen death in, in, in a violent manner. And, and when it's the real thing, it, it just, uh, it just makes you sick. You, 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 you knew what was going on, but to see it, it, it just, uh, it, it, I, I can't explain it. It made me really sick to think of people that may lift me up because I have a gift of communication or, or some other Christian who has an ability to sing or play an instrument and how we lift these people up as our heroes or great writers or when these are the ones that uh, in their lives look like Christ and it, it, see when we make a, a, a popular author or speaker our hero then it's easy to go oh yeah I want to become like him but then when we look at these martyrs and these people who really have died for the gospel. If we lift them up to be heroes, we have to constantly ask ourselves the question, do I want to be that? When I talk to the people in India that are going through it, they're not asking for money, they're just asking that we remember them, that we would pray for them because they're saying many people are converting out of Christianity, out of fear, because people are saying, look, if you get out of Christianity, we won't do this to you. And so people are scared, and, and so they're saying, would you just pray for us for courage? And I don't know what emotions go through your mind when you see some of these images, but what they're asking for is, would you channel that Toward prayer for us. I mean, you've listened to me speak for three or four minutes. Could you spend the next three or four minutes praying for our brothers and sisters in India, seriously praying for them?